Many veterans still believe they are not getting the care they deserve. One former Camp Lejeune Marine goes a step further. He believes the federal government has ignored widespread water contamination that may have contributed to the death of his daughter. Today, he took his long-standing concern, concerns to Capitol Hill. Amanda Lamb watched his testimony and joins us now to tell us what is at stake. Retired Marine Jerry Ensminger honed his fighting skills at Camp Lejeune, but the real fight of his life happened on Capitol Hill. Does anyone need to wonder why? We don't trust the VA. After his nine year old daughter Janie died of leukemia in 1985, Ensminger helped prove contaminated water at Lejeune poisoned people for three decades. In 2012, the Janie Ensminger Act was passed, which covered people who developed eight diseases linked to the toxins. A new version adds protections for veterans. Not only is this legislation another step in rectifying the gross injustice committed against the Camp Lejeune victims, it also has the potential of saving the American taxpayers hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in the future. Currently, the VA uses outside contractors to decide what diseases will be covered. A costly and arbitrary process, says Ensminger. A lot of money that could have been spent caring for our veterans rather than devising methods and attempts to cheat them out of the benefits they deserve. The new law would require an arm of the CDC to continually review scientific studies to see if there are new links between the contamination and additional diseases. This bill confirms to the hundreds of thousands of Marines, sailors, their families and the thousands of civilian employees who were negligently exposed to the highest levels of harmful contaminants ever recorded in a major drinking water system that the United States delegation, the Senate delegation of North Carolina has our backs. Now, Ensminger says this law would prevent veterans from waiting long periods for treatment while an outside contractor decides if their illness is covered. The senators believe there is strong support for the legislation. David? Amanda, thank you.